In spring, we decided to return to the UK and this time we're visiting Reading. We are loving it here in England. I love going on these walks and look how great it is. It's so lovely and even if it's cold, the sky is still blue, the birds are singing. It feels great to be here visiting England. I'm Beatrice Mongar, a Mauritian writer and entrepreneur living nomadically and slow traveling with my husband since 2019. If you love slow travel, I invite you to join me on an intentional journey. Here on my YouTube channel, it's not about ticking off maximum countries or seeing the top attractions of the world in one day, but about going deeper. It's exploring what it means to experience life in different locations and how we are transformed and enriched in the process. We are on the bus stop, waiting for our bus to go to the centre part of uh, Reading. And we are doing some cultural activities today. Our goal is to visit Reading Museum and Reading Abbey Ruins to learn more about its history. Okay, I'm so happy to be here now in this part of town. Earlier, well, in the bus, I don't know, there was just too much going on. The bus rattling, the making noise, um, people talking, it was just too much for me, so I was a little bit overstimulated, now I'm fine. At the museum, we learned that the Abbey transformed Reading forever, turning this small market town into one of the most important pilgrimage centers in Western Europe. Reading Abbey was founded by King Henry I in June 1121. It was intended to be his memorial and burial place, and as such no expense was spared, including importing stone from France. This brought back memories of past trip to France, when I stayed in an abbey. It's a relaxing experience, the museum is free, no need to book or queue, it's a good size with seating areas and even a cafe. We have just finished a visit at the Reading Museum and behind us is the Town Hall in its glory. It's a beautiful day even though it's raining, I love the rain in England. Um, and it's, it's a great day to be exploring. So we are now heading to the Abbey Ruins. Underneath where I'm walking, there is an air raid shelter. And on the right in front of me, you'll see the red-bricked Reading Jail where Oscar Wilde was imprisoned. Monks first introduced to the Abbey were of the Cluniac Order. By mid-13th century, they were monks of the Benedictine Order. Now time for a snack. Reading Abbey was bigger than Canterbury Abbey or Westminster Abbey. It was designed to impress with the size, beauty and magnificence of its large buildings. Where I am standing here now is called the Chapter House. Chapter House is where the monks used to come and start their day by reading a chapter of the Bible before they set about their day. So it was named Chapter House. Please turn me till the message plays.
Reading Abbey was important to pilgrims and the major roads connecting to Reading made it easy for them to travel. They came to venerate the 200 plus holy relics, including the hand of St. James. In front of me is the St. James Catholic Church, built between 1837 and 1840. Its architect is Augustus Pugin. Some of his works include the Houses of Parliament and the ornate interiors of the Palace of Westminster. Reading Abbey was dissolved by Henry VIII and the last abbot was executed for treason as he refused to acknowledge the king as head of the church. We are now in the Fulbury Gardens. It actually is very near the Rosiade Reading. So if you are looking for a place to stay, that's a really nice spot because it's well connected to here. And then further along, you actually can walk to the ruins of the Abbey. So peaceful here. And I love that there are these modern buildings along with the Abbey ruins. Before the Abbey's dissolution in 1537, pilgrims would walk through Forbury Gardens in order to access the Abbey Church. These gardens were also where fairs and public gatherings were held. It was interesting for us to learn that Henry I died in 1135 in Normandy before the building of the Abbey was completed. His body was brought back to England and buried near the High Altar, which did not survive the dissolution. Today, in the Fulbury Gardens, you can see Henry I's memorial cross. To conclude, the Abbey Ruins is well worth a visit. This site greatly influenced and shaped Reading. In our present time, modern-day pilgrims still flock to this town as part of the St. James Way, retracing the steps of former pilgrims from Reading to Southampton. We are back home now and I'm so happy to be back because I was so hungry. So now I am looking forward to eating my Greek food. Mmm, warm and cozy inside. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to leave me a comment below.